Yo, Cornhucket. One, two, three. Cornhucket! Hi, buddy. To today. Uh, uh, bicycle riding, uh, adults that refuse to grow up, like myself, and uh, live music, good food. You, uh, you never know out here. I don't think we're gonna cut any grass or do anything super fun like that. Probably just still ride bike. Are things going well so far? You couldn't go more perfect. Look at this weather. Dude, 86 high, sunny. Yeah, two, the, the past two days. Are shining. The past two days have been kind of miserable, and today it's just beautiful. It's the corn hucket gods. Yeah. Yeah. I call in a favor. Can you do me a big favor? Go around, make sure everybody's got bracelet bracelets. Take my golf cart, you're the man. Okay. Thanks, brother. Did that look? That was the second take, so. We'll fake it, but we'll tell you we faked it. And we might get a new one, who knows? And a big old rail over there, and a lot of other stuff. I mean, what could you not ask for here? Nice Look at shirt, that. man. You know, I'm here from Chicago just to represent my awesome Ohio Is For Break Lovers shirt. So what's up? Everything and nothing at the same time. Are we vlogging? Not yet. I haven't started. Got here, I haven't turned on the camera. Word. How you? How your corn hucket's going so far? My corn hucket, as always, is pretty magical. Everyone here is just friendly and family, and you can walk up to pretty much anyone and say, hey, how you doing? And they'll be your best friend for the remainder of your stay at corn hucket. What's not to love? Absolutely. Hi, Dustin. Hi. Checking in with poor boy Steve. The He's the mega. He's the OG mega. You're the mega. I'm not the OG mega. Oh. I'm the I'm the minor. Oh, okay. No, we're at the poor boy Steve booth. Or poor boy booth. With all these designs. How long have you been doing what you do? Hey, I mean, officially. Yeah. Like me. Hey, Eight eighty nine. That's awesome. I have an ad in like, uh, my very first ad was in Go Magazine from the very back. One of those little like one inch. Awesome. Jobbers. So what's the oldest design that's on this table? I did a couple of this, this one and my big wheel one are both nods to ones I did in the 90s. Okay. They're kind of like a, what if this guy grew up? That's so sick. So those were just, I've done like a few that are nods to the old stuff, my old art. Nice. This one. But everything's pretty original. This one right here might be my favorite. Okay, maybe this yeah, one. I'm just kidding. Boba Fett's awesome, but the Mando is the better one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, let's see the whole thing. Awesome. It's my E.T. Mandalorian tribute. Love it. Where do people see you online? Poor Boy Steve, uh, poorboysteve.com. There it is. Poor Boy Steve Facebook. 
That's who I am, I guess. And we will do a live stream with Steve and I in the future. So happy right now. It's a perfect spot. That's well, that's what we talked about last year. Getting a little shade from this, like, yes. I do I have chills so they, they won't stop. Yeah, we're right a piece of concrete. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, he came from New York just to ride a piece of concrete. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Who needs to work out when you can do that thing? Yeah. I've ever written, and it's not even close. You heard it here. I'm trying not to be emotional when I do this speech. What do we think? So good. No one's ever out the top of it. It's blowing my mind. I'm just there munching. You're not Yeah, 100%. Okay. Of course I am. Okay. What's up? How's the waves? Dude, they are firing, bro. Good. Double barrel over curls, it's just amazing. Get so pitted. Like, like this. <laughs> All right, guys, are you are you guys ready for this? Is everybody ready for this? This is the 10th annual Corn Hucket Jam. 10 years, you guys, let's hear it, put them up. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to get through this opening speech the best I can. This is gonna be an emotional one for me because it's been a long time coming. Before I start it, I'm gonna give the quick reminders. Hey guys, uh, please wear a helmet. It's a helmet always on your bicycle jam. So our farmer neighbors are awesome. They let us use their land. Please respect it. Don't pick the field corn. And uh, just, yeah, keep it cleaned up. Do that kind of stuff. If you don't have a bracelet, please get signed in and get a waiver sign. Let's keep everything safe and fun. All right. I've got a lot of 
do thank yous and a lot of important people today uh, that made this possible. Like I said, this is 10 years. The very first Corn Hugget Jam was 2013. It rained almost the whole day. We had a half pipe and a box jump. And it was a blast. And we knew that we had to keep doing it. So we were really stoked. And then five years ago, we started on a crazy mission to put up a completely free indoor park for kids that is open year round to any and all. And I think this is the year that we say we did it. There's a free indoor park and pop track. So if you don't visit, if you're not, you know, if you're here for Corn Hugget, come any rest of the time of the year and enjoy it, camp out, hang out with us. Uh, can I just say real quick, we built it because my wife and I had a vision that we wanted to help kids, uh, whether they, they struggle mentally or whatever they got going on, we wanted a place that, I'm, I'm sorry, um, that they felt safe that friendships and bonds because those bonds can save lives i've lost a lot of friends now to mental illness and guys this place in bmx can save lives so thank you for making this possible thank you so much uh, i want to thank every volunteer that has ever done anything out here like i can't i can't get through all of them uh right off the you know like off the top of my head but so many people put so much time into this and it was absolutely amazing Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna give a couple special thank yous because I couldn't have mentally kept going with this if it wasn't for Sam Bussell. Love you, brother. God, I'm gonna cry through this whole thing. I'm very sorry. Hard on my sleeve, guys, hard on my sleeve. Sam was here in the freezing cold, putting up tin with me while we were getting snowed on. We're like, we gotta get it closed in because it's for the kids. I love you, Sam. Josh Larson is our local track director. He's not here yet, I don't think, but he'll be here later today. He made that building happen. Like he came through and guided us and helped us construct it every step of the way. He is a freaking rock star. We love Josh. Um, Mason, where are you at? Mason White has been living on the ground the last two years. He keeps this place going and clean. And he's out here. To I love you, Sammy. <laughs> like I said, it's gonna take a second, and I apologize, but this is 10 years in the making. So, um, also, happy birthday, Mason White. Thanks for planning your birthday on Corn Hockey. Yes. Uh, I wanna thank every uh, friend and family member that donates and volunteers their time all the time. Every BMXer, every business, because there's so many and we're going to have lists in the building when it's done and we're going to have logos on the ramps from the bigger guys and everything and it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for helping the cause. Let's thank our vendors because they help these events possible. Poor boy Steve, it, it's an honor to have him here. He was my favorite clothing company as a kid and now he's set up at my place and he helps us do half our art. He's awesome. Ad Astra's been here uh, three, three years now I think. They're awesome. Go get some gloves. Super cool dudes. Kids who ride. My son Jason set up over there. He yeah. makes some really cool stuff. <laughs> Hellion Bikes, guys, thank you so much for coming. They got American made DJs. Check them out. Really rad guys. I look forward to having a great relationship with those dudes. My buddy Brian Peregrino at Excess Energy. I met him the first year I started this company, and he goes, Anything and everything you need, I got your back. Brian, you always have. I love you. Thank you. Dustin and Trevor at Tech Bike Co. I believe in those guys. They're awesome dudes. They're always bringing people here. They make American-made freestyle BMX bikes, and they're awesome. Guys, you're rad as heck. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, let's see here. I want to thank uh, the unsung heroes real quick here, um, like Wade Aldridge. Thank you for bringing water for the kids all the time and always helping at the track and the freestyle place. Those are the guys that really keep the sport going. Like my friend Larry Cub from Fremont, he always helps the kids get bikes. He'll do anything he can for the kids. Thank you, Larry, you're a rock star. Uh, Jeremiah Drosher, uh, that kid grew up in CV and he helps all the other kids up there that ever need anything. Thank you for being an inspiration, Jeremiah. <laughs> well, I say Jeremiah's from Nebraska, but that's because he's right there. All right, uh, Habo. Where's Abo? Abo, thank you for the foam pit. Yeah. 
The foam pit is possible thanks to Habo. He got us the foam. He made it happen. Thank you, brother. That is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Other sponsors here. Uh, Scuba Steve, where are you at? Uh, Scuba. Where, Scuba, thank you. He started throwing BMX. He's starting to make American Made Parts. Check them out. Dude, you're, you've been a good friend for so long. I love it that you started doing things. He's a genius. Check out his parts. I see a bright future with you, brother. Very, very cool. And thank you for the donations. Thank you to the rest of the sponsors like Profile with Matt Copeland. He's rad. Shadow, Animal Bikes, my sister Creative Lotus, Stony at OFG, Ride Brand, Dustin Grice in Minnesota, Full Factory, Tough Luck, Jason Seeley. I wish he was here. He's my boy. I love Jason. Uh, Reclamation Bikes. Uh, we got a little thing we're going to go on a little bit about them, but thank you as a sponsor. Ryan Von Rensel donated an 87 Redline side hack that we're raffling off. Somebody's lucky going home with that. Uh, let's see, and thank you, uh, Dustin Reese, thank you to, to your better half, Sandy. Thank you for the handmade corn, corn hucket dolls and stuff. Check her out. She's a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Um, Big shout out to Brant Moore. He's been a friend of mine for a decade now. He's capturing the event. Most of all, Brant, I want to say thank you as a friend for keeping BMX positive and pushing it in a really good direction. You're a rad dude, Brant. Thank you to everyone that traveled so far. Uh, John Quartz, he's our frame builder right now. He also does the tech bike code. John just drove here from New York to deliver our frames and to hang out with everybody. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. You're a rock star. Burning the midnight oil. Uh, he drove like for a full day. Disabled Dan, where you at, buddy? Right here. Woo! Disabled Dan flew in from the UK to hang out with us. Yeah. Guys, talk to him while he's here. He has an amazing story about adversity and where he has come. You are an inspiration, brother. I love you. Thank you. Keep doing what you do. Yeah. And on page two. Noah Hospotka. You're right behind me. Noah flew in from Cali, and he has been working nonstop on the trails. Uh, Noah, thank you so much for your friendship and everything you do, dude. You are you are so rad. That goes on to trail prep. We got some locals that I want to thank too: Blake Phillips, Shane ha uh, Haskins, and Wade Ultras. Thank you so much for helping the guys with the trails and pitching in. Yeah. What's that? And Graham, Graham Navity. I'm gonna apologize here. I got a long list, so if I forget somebody, feel free to shout it. Grant, you are a rock star. He runs a place called No Coast too in Omaha for the mountain bikers. So, so cool. Uh, Kara Bruce, we haven't seen her in four years. She flew in from Canada. Thank you for being with us, Kara. And uh, her boyfriend, Gareth, has been cooking for us. They've been cleaning and keeping us sane in the house. Yes. Thank you. That is a big thing. Uh, special thank you to one of my best friends, Jacob Bean, for flying in. We haven't. We haven't had to spend the last couple corn nuggets because he's been traveling the world. Jake just got invited to the Nitro Games. Congratulations, yeah. Jacob B. Dude, you, you've come so far, and I'm so proud of you, bud. Keep doing what you do. Awesome. Uh, guys, we have a 40 by 40 flatland pad now. We have a permanent home for flatlanders. That is thank you to Robert Riley and Fred Gates. Reclamation Bikes. Thank you so, so much for what you do and making this possible because it wouldn't have happened without you. And also, to help break in that pad, our friend Dave Nori flew in to put on a Nori show. Be sure to check that out tonight. Kim, please, Jack, thank you for coming. It's, it doesn't feel like it's a jam without you and all the Flatlanders that made the trip. I know there's another jam going on, but uh, both jams will be great, but thank you for helping us break that in. That really means a lot. Thank you, Rodney. <laughs> Now, the next is Rodney Menzel, who laid the flatland pad. Rodney, where are you at? Rodney, are you out there? This is my boy right here. He, he came in with his own time and helped donate one of those flatland pads in there. Like, that takes a lot to come time out of your day and make that happen. And he gave us a ridiculous deal on that pad. It would not have been possible without you, Rodney. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big thank you to the bands that are going to be here, Top Notch, Defective, and Killigans. Uh, those guys are so good, and they come and play here without questions. They're like, yes, we believe in the cause. We want to come. They are literal rock stars, so thank you. Big thank you to J.R. Hollenbach. He has helped sponsor and be a part of Nowhere since day one. Thank you, J.R., for what you do and coming here every year and keeping us fed. Uh, who here uh, remembers the Pitt Skate Park in Rockford, Illinois? Anybody? Guys, Mike Kaiser is here, and he's one of my old heroes. And 
the pits were my favorite contest back in the day and the fact that he's here now volunteering here and helping out with this jam like thank you so much for making the journey and thank you for helping out like it's 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 crazy uh i want to thank the new super dads out there uh kier karinsky if you're out there kier he's running that booth over there that guy is i met him a year and a half ago and all he's done is help every second of the way. He is a really, really cool guy. And the other super dad I want to thank is Mike LeBlanc, Jet's dad. He, sorry. No, oh, there's no rail. That's why she keeps doing that. I thought there was a rail. I about fell. Um, so the last on my list on the thank yous here before we get things going is I want to thank you. Thank you to my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, my in-laws. They've always believed in this and they've been with me every step of the way. They're great people. I want to thank my kids for putting up with dad not being able to spend as much time with them as I want. He's doing this other times. I love you kids and thank you uh, for doing that. And the true hero of it, if this would not have been possible without my wife, Carrie. She's my rock. I love you. Thank you for helping me in that sunny and helping kids. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you. On, on that note, I just want to say, uh, say uh, that I think this uh, event embraces the best side of our sport. We are all just human beings from all walks of life. And what I really like about this is no matter what our viewpoints are, our opinions, anything, when we put our feet on the pedals and our hands on the grips, we leave it all behind and we make friendships and bonds that last forever. You, have you, guys, you guys are all my best friends and you're all around the world and we can always connect with each other. And as I talked about mental illness, this sport can save lives. So remember, don't ever let anything divide us. Let BMX unite us. Absolutely yeah. the most amazing thing we can take away from events like this. Uh, I want to say that I love you all. And when you're here, you guys are all family. And I hope you know that. Let's make today the best of BMX event we have ever had. This is number 10. And I'm going to ask everybody to do it with me one time. Right now at the count of three. We build it to the top of the sky so my friend Jason McGinnis can look down with pride. Yeah. At the count of three, we yell corn hockey. One, two, three, corn hockey! Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to start with the mega wall jam. I'm going to kick some music. Let's give about 10 minutes of warm up and we'll get it fired up, guys. Let's do it. I knew I was going to forget one thing on here, guys. I started this company based on an individual that inspired me to start it. Where's Dan Nielsen? Dan, where are you at? Danimal, are you around? I saw you somewhere. Somebody see Dan? Dan! Guys, I was at a low point in my life, and I watched Dan helping little kids, and he inspired me to start Nowhere BMX. Thank you, Dan. I love you for eternity, brother. Thank you. Give it up to Dan Nielsen. That's the Danimal. Let's shred. We're going to watch him shred today. I knew I didn't want to forget that. All right, so judges, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it the same way we did the last couple years. We're gonna give five awards to the big dogs that do the craziest stuff, and we're gonna give five awards to the kids that pull off something that is awesome for them. So it's all about progressing no matter what your level is. So it's just best trick around the board, 10 awards every event, and that's how we're gonna judge it. Are you guys ready to get our first event going? The Mega Wall Jam, let's hear it! Get Today. All right, crank it, dear. Wow! Oh, 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 Big table!
Carl. Uh, I'm gonna get a little food in my belly and Hobbo's gonna announce the trail jams. Our trails are more dialed than ever. Trail jams next? Trail jam is next, three o'clock. Woo! I'm the biggest judger in BMX, so I'm gonna judge a dirt competition. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> All right, guys, are we still having a good time out there today? All right, can I get another corn hucket? Corn hucket, we're about to be kicking off the trail jam. What's your name? Brant, how, how old are you? Uh, 57, almost 57. Nice, yeah. man, you're killing out there. Thank you. It's awesome to see. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah? I've never been here before. No? Where are you from? Lincoln. Nice. Yeah, yeah. How'd you guys hear about it? Uh, Facebook. I'd actually heard about it a couple years ago, but just had never made it out, so. Okay. So Facebook this time, yeah. Nice. So. Well, that's cool it. to see you out there. Uh, thank you. Heck yeah, keep cool. it at it. Appreciate it. Let's go, Dumpty's coming. Do it! Hear that? Dumpty's coming. That's my guy. Wonder what that means. That's my, that's my UK Joey Bags. <laughs> Say something! Oh my god! <laughs> hey. on a hot day! How did it feel? Was it good? Was it a good one? Perfect! Yeah. A little bit scared that I was on the rotating, but you I'll see the landing and I'll put it down. That was sick. Couldn't well, have been better. Big shout out to Nolan for the jumps. He's been putting in work. Real chat. And Carl for putting on such a sick event. <laughs> intact couldn't be better yep what's next uh thank Cabo for announcing he did a great job thanks Cabo. and the mega. mega's five o'clock it gets a little unreal 
This is the McGinnis Megas Jam. It is named after our dear friend Jason McGinnis who passed years ago and he was a legend here in Nebraska and he always went big. So we dedicate this section to Jason McGinnis. We love you brother and we hope that you always watch and are proud of the stuff that we do in your honor right here. Wow! Oh! Safe! Yeah. The devil is back! Oh. 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 John, how was the dick mega jump? I couldn't control it. No. <laughs> I couldn't control it at all. It was fun though. How was the contest? Crazy to watch. Yeah. Dude, Dan was sessioning double flips. <laughs> he was sessioning them. That didn't make any sense. Pretty sick. No sense at all. Yeah. What do you got? What is that? This is the newest piece to my collection. What is it? It's a catfish cat butthole. <laughs> I'm gonna hang it right next to my Crandall coffee mug. A matchmaker. Add it to your resume. Add it to my resume. I'll tell the story. So last year at Cornhucket, I told Kim that uh, she really reminded me of my friend Kevin. Because one, reptiles, amphibians, and a love for animals that she talked about. And two, just the way that she talked. And it reminded me of Kevin. And then, next thing I know, I'm seeing on Facebook, like, in stories, I'm like, concert? And I see concert. And then I see a picture of them together that they send me and I'm like, yo, I did that. <laughs> We're doing a little Flatland show.
play. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Part of the day is where we get to recognize cool stuff and give out the awards. So we are going to start with our jams. So everybody listen up out there because you might have won an award so that you're ready to go. When you get your award, come up and get a couple prizes. Josh is going to help with that. We got some great stuff from some great companies. Uh, we are going to go with our trail jam first. Or no, wait, sorry. We're going to start in order. Oh, there's an echo over there. It's pretty good. We'll go to the, uh, to the mega wall. We're going to start with the mega wall. Very first person that I want to announce is little Kaylin. Kaylin took a dip. <laughs> she is probably the toughest kid I've seen here today taking that. I am so proud of you, kiddo. There are adults. You got a best trick award already. Nice job. Let's pick out a couple things with Josh, okay? There are We're gonna go right on to one of the big dogs. I don't have them in a particular order. Uh, Sam Bustle? Disastering 30 feet in the air? <laughs> make any sense? You know? <laughs> to switch whip up the Dean's drop, exactly. Hi guys, that's Sam. I know there's he wants a hat. There's ride brand hats. There's some other hats too. I know there was. You look through. You look through. All right. I apologize. I don't know a lot of people's last names, stuff like that. But there's an Alex kid that did a big 540. Yeah. 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 That was sick. Yeah. 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 It's my first time here. I'm more than happy. Nice. Let's go for Alex on the big 540. Yeah. And guys, after you get these awards, don't go anywhere. We'd like to get a group picture of every 10. <laughs> All right, where is Pirate with a giant Smith 270 on the verbal wall? Are you out there, Pirate? <laughs> Job, buddy. Ahoy, me! Yeah, I love BMX. <laughs> Drew Jackson fast planted 30 feet in the air. Get out here, Drew. <laughs> and guys, you might have heard me say earlier, but I'll say it again. Drew hosts a Halloween jam in OKC. Is it October 29th? I've been to his jams. He does a great job. It's a blast. Definitely check it out. You really pick out Hulk? All right. Richard Hogan. Richard is one of the craziest. This kid entered all the way to the top at 11 years old, 30 feet. Kid, you got to screw loose. Keep it loose. Love it. I'm going on to Ted Hugh. Ted Hugh from Arkansas. He put he put a nose and both tires and everything on the flag. Where's Ted at? Ted, you out there? I have to go to Capital, sir. There he is. He's like, I'm buying BMX parts right now. These awards are free right now. Noah Hospodka. Tabletop at 35 feet! A 35 foot table. And my brain doesn't understand those things. I seen him in the post, I was like, this is mine. All right, we got a home elf. I don't know if he left. I know I was talking to Dakota, but we got a homie from Colorado, Jeff, for a double crank flip. Are the Colorado homies still here? Dude, the, I know you said it was on accident, but it was purposely rad. That was sick. And then we're gonna go, last but not least, another Colorado rider. It's Darius for one of the steeziest one-handers that surprised yourself so high. Get up here and get an award, brother. Dude, stay up here. We're gonna get a photo of all 10 of you together. Are you out there still, Darius? Where's Darius? Darius Jackson! I hope he is. I don't know. Does anybody know if Darius is still here? Did the I know Dakota said they gotta get going. Was he with Dakota? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Can you take his award home for him? Are you Colorado not so close? No, I don't ride. They're in the springs. Oh, they're in the springs. We'll get somebody's got Hobbo's got me. Thank you, Hobbo. Do you wanna hold the award for Darius? Like that way we got all ten? I like the hustle, Hobbo. Yeah. All right, you guys get your awards, we'll get your picture. 
Right, this is for Darius. This is for Darius. Darius All right, you guys wherever, line up. Let's get the shot. Wherever Darius is, he killed it. He's from Colorado Springs. I'll happily accept this on Best his behalf. Best trick. Mega wall. Here's your top ten. Line them up and let's hear it for him. So good. Thor Nucket! Alright, let's go up to the trail jam. <laughs> How about got to hold an award? Alright, we're gonna go right onto the trail jam in no particular order. Make sure I got this right. Alright, we're gonna start off with my little buddy T Dog for jumping the trails with his bars backwards. Where are you at, T Dog? They love the judges love the creativity. Get up here, bud. Jump, dude. Grab an award and pick out a couple items. And then stay here after you pick out a prize. Then we're going to go to Trenton with a knack to Can Lander. Where's Trenton at? Dude, you're sick, bud. You are sick. Go ahead and pick stay here for a picture. Jonathan Bovey, double land surfer, and then go back over another double. Dude, that was sick. Everybody loved it. <laughs> I'm not sure if he left yet or not because I know his girlfriend got hurt a little bit but Dave Mahoney are you still out there have you taken off yet Dave he left he did he left he did leave all right we, we'll, we'll hold his award for him Dan can get it to him he rides with Dave twice a year and they're both in Colorado <laughs> Dave Mahoney pretty much tripped everything all right, we got to go uh, Haas Vodka on this one. Hand flip. <laughs> and, you, and you helped build the trails. That was kind of nice. Thank you. <laughs> Disabled Dan, double flip in the third set. Ridiculously smooth. Made no sense. Made no sense. Great job, brother. <laughs> So good. My man Jacob Dean, triple whip in the first set. So good, Jake. So good. All right. All right, so now we, the judges and I all agreed. He may not have pulled it off, but this dude's definitely getting an award because he's the toughest SOB around here. Here's Kojak, flipping 12 times into the tree. I know, I swear I'm going to come out in two weeks and that tree's going to be dying because of you. Good job, buddy. That was ridiculous. And one of the steeziest riders in Nebraska, Colton Bush, get out here. Slow it down. Did Colton go? He's running. Yeah, Colton Bush! Of course, this guy just lives at the trails. Yeah. Yeah, he can't get him out of there. All right. We have a couple people collect, collecting double awards, but nobody triple. We tried to make it go around. I know there's guys that shred everywhere, but Drew Jackson, come get your second award. You destroyed the trails, bud. Like, I can't pick out a trick because there's too many. Okay, see you again. You look like Matt Berenger last year. He's like, I got another award. We'll let you guys line up. Good job, Drew. Let's hear it for the Trail Jam Top 10. All right, guys, let's get a picture. Jake, look forward. Big smile. Talking tricks. You're still planning stuff. All right, nice job, you guys. All right. Megas, Megas, where are you at? There we go. All right, on to the megas. All right, here we go. We are going to start off. Little Jet, sending it, sending it, sending it until he cleared the big one. I'm proud of you, bud. And the mentality of pump me up, pump me up was so good. Got the judges psyched. Right up, showing the girl power. Zahara, I hope you come back and keep riding this place. You're a shredder. 
and we love you being here. She cleared the big jump, and Kyle's kicker. She just destroys stuff. See if she hears us. There she is. You are a beast. We got a cheering section going on. Great job. All right, yep, I'm going on to getting his second award again. It's Trenton. Trenton, you destroyed the Megas. This kid was doing like one-footed X to can to all kinds of stuff. It, it's rough when you're in your 40s and you see a kid that destroys you. <laughs> it's crazy. My man Dan with a big old super whip. Whip after getting work, after, after getting worked in the trails. He's like, I can't ride it. But he could not throw down for everybody. Oh, Damn. Sucks right now, I'm going to try not to back you low. Here you go. Oh, that's great. Get his double up award because he's probably the best, best double flipper I've ever seen. Double flipping the big bike. Disabled Dan, get out of here. It's crazy. It's crazy, bud. He took it three times and just kept going. And everybody around you goes, he's going again? That's what he does. All right, speaking of again, 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 and one more again, quad truck, Jacob Fiend, get up here, bud. Quad trucking. Yeah, Jake. And like 10 other super cool tricks, but the quad truck was pretty phenomenal, dude. All right. My man Huck throwing a gnarly no footer on the kids jump, dude. That was so cool, Huck. Huck BMX! Huck BMX! Yeah, Huck. He's killing it. He's killing it. Remember, we don't, we don't ever let any of those riders go over a, a double award, so he probably could have got three, but he pretty much destroys everything he touches all the time. Get your second award. Sam Bustle for 30,000 awesome tricks in McGinnis Vegas. <laughs> He just, he shut it down, and then he just went and cheered for everybody. Yes, oh, man. Dude, he it. What tricks, dude? Yeah. All right, I will tell you right now, this was Rob's, Rob DeQuattro's favorite rider out there was Danny Marking at 40 years old, throwing it down. Get up here, Danny. Like we always talk about, it is about progression, okay? So like we say, with the little guys, everybody, and everybody that starts at any level, this next one is going on the Yellow Cannondale, Jack. Dude, you set it big on that. Great job. Get up here, bud. You were going to go for it all, man. That was awesome. You were setting it. Good job. And thank you for helping out here all these times, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, pick some stuff out, but get your award. Come on up there. Let's do a picture. All right, you guys line up for a photo. You took the DeGroote hat? We're going to talk. <laughs> Got the Deco Sun hat. I felt really hard today. I'm sorry. That's right. I'm going to order them for the shop. All right, you guys line up and smile for Branton and my better half. Jack, stand up there a second. You pick awards on in a minute. Let's get the picture here real quick. You too, Danny. Smile for, smile for the crowd. Smile for the crowd. Let's hear from McGinnis Megas! All right, now we go to my favorite awards, the special, special awards. Yeah, I get so excited. All right, where am I at, honey? Well, let me see them. She didn't even know she got it yet, but she's going to murder me for my You want, let's do those. I want to do those. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, I'll be okay. So these are my favorite awards. We do some special stuff every year. Try and do something unique. Guys, none of these jams are possible if it weren't for the great people that don't expect anything in return. They just say, dude, you're doing something cool. I want to help you out. Uh, so I want to do a Rock in the Community, a couple Rock in the Community awards. Uh, we're going to start off 
with my friend Jason Kelly, his son Kai, and everybody at Top Notch Defective for rocking the community. Thank you guys for coming and doing this stuff. Thank you, Jason. Thank you guys so much. It's so rad. Yeah. Hell yeah. And they're going to rock right after this, right after we do raffles. So. Hell yeah. Um, we have a third band that was not able to make it this time, but they have played here like the last five years. I'm not sure if any of them came, but Molten, if you guys remember Molten, they are awesome. And if you're out, if any of you are out here from the band, come on up and get it. If not, then I will get it to one of you afterwards. But rock in the community with Molten. And then last but not least, my friends, the Killigans. Dude, thank you so much for year after year. They were playing some of the first four nuggets. Who wants to accept it for the Killigans? <laughs> They're pointing at each other. Brad, Trevor, somebody. Manning will take it. He doesn't care. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh, we really appreciate it, man, every time. Let's hear it for all the bands always coming and rocking for us. That is a big, big deal. Big deal. Okay. Let's get a picture of them. I'll grab the other shoulder. Get in here, guys. Okay, get in there. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetheart, was this the... Um... Okay. Okay. All right. We're on to these, and then... Oh, it's... Okay. You got that figured out? Okay. All right. Next, uh, like I said, it's all... Sorry. Okay. It's all about the unsung heroes all the time. Uh, the dads, the moms, all these, everybody, the volunteers that help out behind the scenes with everybody all the time. We did this one year, and this year we had a couple more shines, so I'm going to do Rad Dad Awards again. So we got two Rad Dad Awards. These are the fathers of the BMXers that are helping out with everybody, not just their kids, but everybody around them. First, I want to give this award to Michael Blanc, Jet's dad. Thank you, Mike, for helping out. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We, we definitely got a second Rad Dad Award, and that is Huck's dad, Kier Krasinski. He's probably over there in his tent, still trying to raise money for us, because it's all he does. Get up here, Kier, you gotta get this award. You can leave the tent for a second. Huck's gonna accept it for you. Thank you so much. But we want to get a picture of you. All right, I got a special... We might have to get the picture in a little bit, but I want to give another special award to a dear friend that pushes and pushes for this place all the time. Not only does he do that, he calls me a few times a year to ask me, how can I help more kids? How can I help more kids? And he spends his time trying to do that. I'm going to give the Dave Norrie Gumby Award for what you do, brother. Come on up here, Dave. You are an amazing human being. You know what people tell me all the time? That is the nicest human being I have ever met in my entire life. My sister says that about you all the time. Let's hear it for Dave Nori, guys, the world's greatest showman. I'm embarrassed for the thing. Hold me still for a second. I need a bike. I can't be honest. He needs a bike. He needs a bike. He's a bike. He feels naked without a bike. He's going to grab Huck's bike. So this is the best way to listen. An award. Let's hear the Gumby Award, Dave Norrie! Oh, I didn't ask you. Can I use your bike? That's not that's okay. fine. Okay. Can I use the award. Sorry, I didn't ask you. I didn't hear it. Okay, he said it's okay. Wow. Congratulations, Thank brother. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Let's hear it for Dave! We love you! Cold hockey! Yeah! Yes, I can. What would you so, like? So, um, this is Back for More in 24. Uh, back for More in 24. I used to tour with Brian White yep. and Ron Wilkerson, and we're going to do a reunion tour. Okay, so I just want to give a little plug for a tour that we're putting together in two years. I used to tour with Brian Weither and Ron Wilkerson on the horror team. I don't know if anyone heard of the horror team back in the day, but it was one of the first generations of out there promoting the sport, and we go to bike shops primarily. Well. The world has changed a little bit, so we're doing crowdfunding to support uh, six shows. We're going to do one in the West Coast, Midwest, most likely Indianapolis, so that's not too far from here, uh, New York, 
Japan, wow. Germany, and the UK. So, <laughs> yeah. So we decided to do a crowdfunding, and it's always tricky to ask for money, but it's all for the love of the BMX. And you guys are are here, big family. I love you guys. I've been here for four years, and I'm going to be coming back until until the guy did a you know. A, a walker for me to, to get up to the flatland area, seriously. So, I, I've got stickers, if anyone's interested, I'll tell you more about it, but I, I want to get back on the road. Back for more in 24, that's the uh, Instagram, Facebook, and the website, and uh, I hope you guys can support it, and hopefully you can come out and see us. It's going to be an amazing Dave show. Nori. And thank you so much. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> hey, I heard this stickers. It's, I like supporting things. All right, guys. Uh, we, uh, we we give a special award w one every year, and uh, it's 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 we feel is the most important award. Um, we're gonna give two this year. We're separating it between. Uh, a business and an individual. Uh, the, the award is for extraordinary service and dedication to BMX. That's, that's giving it your all and the, the, the BMX scene survives because of these people. So we're going to start off with the business this year and you guys all got to have a really good time on our new Flatland pad. We want to give this award to Reclamation Bikes for helping us get that Flatland pad. My friend Robert Riley, anytime we need anything, him and Fred Gates have got our back all the time. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for these guys, man. Like, no questions. Always want to help. Awesome. All right, my last one. This is the individual, okay? We doubled up this award because I feel it's so important. So we're, we're giving two to this individual. Like I said, unsung heroes, the guys or gals that spend their time helping the sport and helping all the kids. This was an easy, clear pick this year. This individual spends all his time everywhere helping. He knows every kid's name. He makes sure everybody's always hydrated. He does everything at the track. He does everything at the compound. Wade Aldrich, you are a freaking hero. And we absolutely love you, brother. Thank you so, so much for what you do for the community. People like you. Love you, Wade. Give it up for my man, Wade. This dude thing is 50s, he sweats, and he inspires. He's slumped. <laughs> Wait, can we get a picture before you kick off? Bring Josh over here. Josh, you got to get in this picture. Josh is a former receiver of this award as well, but he's the track director in Lincoln that Wade helps out with, and he's like, helped on this building. He wasn't here earlier, so... Thank you. Yes. Let's hear it one more time. All right, before we do our raffles, can I get a corn bucket? Yes! Ten years of hucking. My man Mason White. Yeah, man, Mason. Place, really pride in it. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at you. Yeah, we'll take a picture and you can hold it backwards. Thank you guys all for making this possible. This has been a perfect, perfect day. What a great event and what a great way to do 10 years. 9, 4, 7, 3. Shit! Yo! How about on the side? Yo, 494, 9473? You got it, Hobo. Yeah! You got it, man. Yeah. 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 Damn, lucky 
moment is what I wait for. The Killigans after a BMX jam. And the world makes sense. Yeah. An ancient promise softly beckon like an old boy. Thank you. 
capping off the night right now. What do you think? I just had the time of my life. 10 years. Know, 10 years. 10. 10 years. Amazing friends. Amazing times. And to think we have so many more memories to make. I love this place and I love everybody that supports it. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. We got more lives to change. We got more kids to help. Mission never stops.